What's going on guys, it's David here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the early Embark commuter bag uh, from Lululemon. I've been using this bag for about a week now. There's a lot of things that I love about it and reasons why I think you guys might wanna check this out if you're in the market for a new bag. So with that guys, without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop into this review. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. That lets me know I'm creating the kind of content that you guys wanna see. So let's get into it. So before I picked up this bag from Lululemon, uh, I've been using the DSLR Pro from Encase. Uh, this is a bag I really, really liked when I initially first picked it up. And there was a few reasons why, mainly because I was able to not only just use it for um, when I go to work, I can also use it for storing camera gear because I never really know when things will pop up. I wanna shoot, I can have all that stuff in one place. Little did I know that over time I would start carrying way too much gear on a regular basis. Things got really heavy and it was really starting to become really hard to separate um, the uh, use of being used for a camera bag as well as a sort of like a work commuter bag. Um, over time, I just kind of decided that, you know, at this point, it's time for me to take a look at something else. I also picked up the uh, Reebok training backpack that's supposed to be like their CrossFit backpack. There was a lot of cool things I liked about that mainly being that it had a laptop sleeve. Um, it also had storage for um, you know clothes, separating that from work stuff. The biggest thing about that backpack was the laptop size was not big enough. Um, also, if you put too much stuff in there, it's very hard on the straps. So over time, the bag has kind of ripped up a little bit. I think it's great as a training backpack, but not very great for a commuter bag. When I saw the early Embark bag on the Lululemon made too much sale, it, it was kind of a toss up because I knew I really didn't need another bag. I have a ton of bags as it is, um, but at the same time, at the price point, it was kind of a no brainer. I was able to pick it up for about 50 bucks and I was able to get it in this like desert camo colorway. Usually black is more of my color of choice, but in this instance for the price and the uh, use case that it provided, I figured why not go for it. Now some other dope things that I like about this bag, initially off the offset, this bag is weatherproof. So there's no really need to worry about if stuff spills on this bag it's most likely going to be able to withstand that. And you can, the minute you pick up this bag, you can tell that it's really built for durability. Some other cool things about this bag um, include the uh, sort of like roll top sort of like style. Now, one of the things that is probably the most highlight of this bag is the fact that it has a uh, laptop sleeve. It actually has two laptop sleeves. So you've got an external padded sleeve as well as an internal padded sleeve. The external one sits right on the back here. So um, it, it both slots fit a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So that's really cool because especially the fact that they put it on the back here, um, it's very secure. So let's say for example, somebody's trying to hassle you, they may not necessarily see that you have a laptop if you're in your bag if you're trying to be that discreet. The, the second option that you have here is when you open up the bag right here on the inside, you've got an option for a laptop sleeve here as well. So if you're the type of person that carries around two laptops with you or you just like external sleeves versus internal, internal versus external, you got a few different options there. You also have a few different options here with carrying this bag. If you are the type to want to have a little bit more of like a tote feel, you have uh, these strap, external straps here um, that you can essentially just kind of carry your bag like a tote. So picking it up makes it fairly easy or if you just like carrying it that way, you have that option. And then you also have um, external backpack straps uh, with the sternum strap to make sure you're secure and tight when you put this thing on. Um, it's pretty comfortable. It's also got uh, exterior padding on the back for your bag. So you don't really have to worry too much about um, stress on your um, back for lack of a better term. I don't know what the best way to call that is, uh, but it's pretty comfortable. It's porous also. So if you do sweat, um, this should kind of help with uh, keeping your back cool as well as uh, you shouldn't worry too much about moisture staying in the, um, the pads here since it should air out pretty easily. You've also got a lot of external storage as well. You've got two slots here for your water bottle and your coffee or 
whatever else you want to hold. You could also probably put like a camera um, stand or a camera, like a Joby Gorilla Pod or something like that in this sleeve. Uh, I typically put my water bottle in one and I put my uh, coffee mug in the other. I actually just did a video on the coffee mug that I'm using, so make sure to go check that out if you hadn't. Um, you also got an option here for uh, your valuables. So a cool thing that you, or some cool things, interesting things that you might put in here um, in this zippered pocket here, or maybe your glasses, if you have glasses, maybe keys, um, some change, your cell phone, things of that nature, things that you would want to put in there. So maybe if you don't want to be, if you're in the city, uh, you don't want to be walking around with your cell phone in your pocket, um, you could stick that in there and phew, nobody's going to know that you have a cell phone. They might think it's weird, but at least you'll get away with your cell phone. So moving on to the interior of the bag, uh, you have a lot of, a lot of, a lot of storage in here. Um, it's more than enough than you need. Um, I was actually surprised uh, how much storage is in here compared to other bags that I've had. I have the Patagonia 22L that's also like a commuter bag, but not very stylish uh, for those of you that care about style. Uh, this bag uh, has this cool sort of like webbed zippered um, pocket that you can put all of your like essential electronics. So maybe things like cables, maybe change. Um, you might be able to put some hard drives in there, things of that nature, maybe your wallet if you want your wallet to be even more secured. Um, you also have some pockets here for like pencils, pens. Uh, you could put books in here, uh, a, a sleeve for maybe like a small tablet. Uh, actually, you probably put your tablet here, uh, a small notebook right here, um, and then some, you know, obviously more space to uh, put more stuff inside of here. And then moving on to, whoa. moving on to the main compartment. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you definitely have your uh, main laptop sleeve here. Uh, the zipper on the uh, external laptop sleeve actually leaves a slot. So let's say for example, you want to, something like I used to do in the day when I was a kid was I would have my uh, iPod or my CD player or whatever in my backpack. I would run the cables um, through one of like a hole or something like that. And then I would listen to music. You could do actually essentially do the same thing here. Uh, although most laptops turn off <laughs> when they're closed in clamshell mode. So you're not going to be able to do that here, but something you can do, but you got your main compartment here for your laptop. Um, and then just tons of space here for whatever you need to put in here, notebooks, uh, books, whatever the case may be. And then you also have this really cool, um, storage for your clothes, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, you open this up here. Um, it's connected at the bottom, which is nice. So it's not like flapping around. Um, and you could literally put like, right now I have boxers and uh, socks in here, but you can literally put, you know, a pair of shorts, uh, boxers, socks, whatever you need for your next training session uh, or for, you know, that day at work, if you like to train in the morning. Um, you could put uh, also um, your toiletries if needed. Um, I wouldn't necessarily leave them um, in the bottles straight in here. Maybe you put them in a dop kit or something like that, but plenty of space for that. Uh, this backpack really, really has a lot of space. Um, in my uh, in-case DSLR Pro, I would constantly find that I would not have enough space. My backpack would get really, really heavy over time. Um, and I, again, I moved to this bag because it has the space that I need. It looks really good. Um, and it really hits the nail on the head. Now, if I had to be nitpicky about anything on this bag, and when I say nitpicky, it's really, uh, really trying to find something wrong with this bag. Uh, it has to do with the handles on the top here. Um, to some degree, they're kind of useless having buttons. Um, and the only reason why I say that is because I would say the first day when I started using this backpack, the buttons uh, here at the top uh, worked really well. Um, there was no issues there. Uh, but one of the things that I've noticed, uh, I would say after the first day of using this bag that essentially every time I lift up the bag from the ground and there's items in the bag that weigh more than the bag, considerably more than the bag, uh, these buttons become undone uh, outside of the top one. And so it's it almost becomes like useless having the straps. Um, and it still works. Uh, you can still use the, 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 the handles to pick up the bag, but uh, 
it's almost like what's the point of having these buttons on the side to hold the straps together um, there would have been a lot more benefit i would say to maybe even move the buttons up higher on the handle or uh, maybe move the straps to a different location uh, maybe moving the straps a little bit further down um, but I would say that's probably like my biggest gripe about that bag but even with that gripe it's really not that big of a deal um, with regards to how much stuff you could put in this bag how comfortable this bag is um, as well as how versatile this bag can be um, like I said uh, I've been able at times on the weekends kind of use this as like a weekender bag but I can also switch over and use it as a commuter bag the only downside is, is that if I do have a shoot later that afternoon after work or something like that I can't uh, I don't have like specific uh, compartments for my camera but you know I do have other like uh, throw bags and things of that nature that I can put camera bodies in things of that nature stick that in this bag and be ready to go and have a very comfortable backpack that I can you know go to work um, and then also go to the shoot um, I don't think I'm gonna pl I plan on using this bag for the gym um, outside of maybe like sticking jackets in that zippered pocket um, and I think that's pretty much it I just <laughs> I really need a like work commuter bag and that's really the main focus of why I got this bag but again I think this would be very versatile for anybody that's looking for a bag for the gym as well as for work so that is going to be my it that's going to be it for this review of the early embark bag like i said i really really like this bag if i had to give this a rating or give you a suggestion as to whether or not this is something that you should check out or pick up i would definitely say to, to definitely pick this bag up if you're in the market for a bag however you're probably not going to be able to find it for the price that i found it for for our 49 bucks i think it retails for about 150 on Lululemon regularly um, and they have it in more colors it's just this color was discounted um, I would definitely say to take a look at this bag this bag is awesome um, I'm gonna be using this bag for a while uh, apart from the issue with the straps it's great I have no other words of praise that I can sing uh, that would speak virtues or speak greatness about this bag I don't know what I'm talking about but with that guys i'm going to end that review here uh, if you enjoyed this video if you found it informative like i said earlier make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well as leave a comment on hey what bag are you using do you have this bag what do you like about it what don't you like about it what don't you like about your bag whatever give me the 411 i want to have a conversation with you guys and with that uh, as always may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black this is david and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace